What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Dozone 2 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So in the last episode, we were starting to work towards making ourselves a Neutron Collectors. And yes, I have been sitting here and crafting these things for a little while now. We have all the stuff ready to go. This is our second stack of them. <laughs> I've already crafted up, I guess, 64 plus 55 of those. Yeah, so almost two full stacks. Unfortunately, with this, there is no way to, like, shift-click it into the crafting grid. You can't, like, W-click it. There is no way. There is another one of these crafting, uh, extreme crafting things, the dire crafting tables that are automated where you can do a little bit of shift-clicking. Uh, we haven't got to that point yet. I think it is uh, kind of expensive. I don't remember exactly what the recipe is. But I did look at it before, and it was more expensive than what I was able to afford at the time. Whew, there we go. There's 128 of those total. So I had these things where I got half of them set up, I guess, in the last millennium. Let's go here. Let's go here. We got another area set up way over here. So yes, there is 64 of these things already hooked up right here. And this has been going mostly for about 24 hours-ish. Uh, we are up to 178 neutronium ingots. Yeah, so that's why you want a lot of those because otherwise you're just going to be waiting. That's with the server running for that long almost 24 hours <laughs> uh we're still gonna need more of these things though so the way i've been doing this is i place down four at a time there's probably a faster way of doing this but uh placing those down using a conduit probe i copy yeah, copy the settings from here shift right click and just right click them onto here that way it just sets it to always active for that extract mode they are set to extract by default but yeah, they uh, need to be set to always active, and that's what this should be doing. I should double check before I continue on, just make sure. If I uh, shift left click on there, yeah, always active. Okay, so yeah, we need to get these things all hooked up. <laughs> it is a slow process, and we will be collecting this stuff at a decent rate with 128 of these things hooked up. It's still not going to be enough. This is still not going to be close to enough for what we need. We're going to be running through these things super fast. There are ways that we will be able to speed the production of the neutron, neutronium ingots up, but that'll be something we'll have to look at in the future sometime. Yeah. Uh, we'll be looking at getting ourselves the wand of animation. That's a wand. It's an item that you can animate practically any type of block, non-tile entity block, and animate it. When you kill that animated block, it'll drop whatever the block type is that it is animated of. So for instance, if we had these neutronium blocks, if we made blocks out of them, I guess, and then animated those, we could spawn those in, yep, and make a farm out of it. It's gonna be really awesome. I did do something similar to that in Project Ozone 1 in the playthrough, if you guys ever saw that. Yep, we did something kind of similar, but we're gonna be taking that to another level here, because obviously this mod pack in Kappa Mood is all about going crazy with resource production, right? All right, so we got a few more of these things that I still need to do here. How many more? 20 more left in my inventory. You gotta make sure I click all these, otherwise we're wasting, we're wasting potential neutronium. I really should go through and right click all of the other ones over on this side. Just <laughs> go along the top and right click on every single one of them. Make sure they're, they are being extracted because if you miss one, oh my goodness, that would kind of suck, right? All right, so we got 16 more of these things to go. So things that I'd like to work on today, we needed to get ourselves the Draconic Armor. The Draconic Armor is stuff that we can make now that we have the Neutronium Ingots. Yeah, uh, they, they're an extreme crafting recipe in this mod pack. It does require the Awakened Draconium, which I believe we have. If not, we can farm that up, no problem. But the recipes did require... The uh, uh, neutron, neutron ingots, neutronium ingots, which we did not have, but we do now. So we should be able to do all of those crafts, no problem. We almost done here. Can, can I be done? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we should be able to do those. Let's take a look at this draconic armor. So the helmet, for instance, does require this awakened draconium, does require all these neutronium ingots, uh, a draconic energy core, and then the wyvern helmet. So once we get to this point, once we start making this, We'll switch over and finally grow out of our artifact gear. We've been using the same stuff for so long. The only thing I'm going to miss really is the chest plate, which has the food saturation. It always keeps us full. Like, we don't have to worry about that. 
I think there might be another way that we can get saturation, or we'll just have to look at making epic bacon, because I'm pretty sure we put that on autocraft a long time ago. Yeah, we can craft this stuff up. Uh, we'll probably be looking at that. So 179 ingots, so over two stacks of these. I think that is probably going to be enough. These do have like a crazy background, I guess, for the ingots. They kind of go outside of the normal ingot texture, right? They're kind of like out here. Also, I've noticed with these, like when they're in a drawer, you can see the rendered texture <laughs> through blocks and stuff. That's kind of kind of a strange oddity of that particular thing. But anyway, I think we're good to go now. So those should be all hooked up. We'll be collecting that neutronium twice the speed. So hopefully next time I go back there, we'll have double the amount that we had today. So we should have something like, you know, four or 500 of those things. And then we'll be good for a little bit longer. So we need the wyvern armor off here. Take all this stuff off. What did I just do? Did I switch my armor? I think I switched my armor. That's not what I wanted to do. I was like, what is that that I'm seeing on there? Let's right click. I want this stuff off there. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, so let's take a look at this one more time. So we want to get the helmet. The helmet's in the center, third from the bottom, right there. Uh, so we need... This is going to be one of those ones I probably just have to do all off camera just because it's so much uh, crafting and figuring out where these parts go. I wish there was like a little question mark you could just click. So a Draconic Energy Core and two Awakened Cores. Are all of those the same? Two Awakened, one Core... Oh, no, they're not all the same. Okay, so two awakened cores. Let's count those up. Three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Maybe they are all the same. I don't know. Eight awakened cores. Can we make seven more of these things? Do we have the stuff? Ooh, we are missing stuff. Okay, that's going to be a problem. So I do need to go and farm some more awakened draconium. Uh... Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense because we only have one that we can block in here. All right, well, I need to go do that. So I guess we will do the resurrection uh, ritual a few more times. Is R-E-S-U-R. Okay, I spelled that wrong. Like, I know we have these on all the craft. Ten more? Is that going to be enough? Okay, we don't have the draconian blocks. Oh, my goodness. There's, like, so many things that we got to do here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That'll make a stack of these blocks. Uh, these need to be set to this. That off, that on. And then we need to put all the draconium in here. There we go. Yep, there we go. So that'll cast out into the blocks. And the blocks we'll be able to charge up for the ritual. I think we needed nine, wasn't it? I think it was something like that. Okay, so we can put those over here. Make 10 of these. Yeah, that looks right. All right, so that's charging up quite quickly. Nice. Okay. Well, anyway, let me go ahead and get the rest of these things crafted up. I'll go fight the dragon like the 10 times, get the hearts. We'll make the awakened draconium out of that, and then we'll continue on. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and I fought 10 of our dragons, of the, uh, the respawn dragons there in the end. So yeah, now all the Endermen are probably going to be like super, 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 even more overpowered. Did I ever tell you guys that I got that thing hooked up? I said we were going to do that. I don't know if I showed you, but we, yeah, we, I ended up getting a Enderman soul. Uh, so let's give these 16, this one 16. To make sure we don't touch it. Otherwise, we got to pick it back or set it back down, re-explode it. And that one. Okay, so yes, we're going to we're gonna do 40 blocks of awakened draconium that's the uh, the amount that we should have when this is all done <laughs> oh my goodness it takes so much power to get these all charged up uh i think i went through two full batteries our uh, our main battery for our entire base yeah two of those pretty much to fill up all these blocks plus all the ones for the ritual yeah it's a lot also i noticed that these will charge up in your inventory with your draconic flux capacitor even if they're stacked i thought that if they were stacked it wouldn't do that but yeah, it drained like my entire flux capacitor while it was in my inventory, partially charging all the blocks that I had in there, which I thought was a little weird. But yeah, I, I thought that they had made it so that didn't happen. But I guess it still it still happens. You can still charge them up like that. Uh, so I was also looking at these creepers, and it looks like if you place the heart on the northwest side, it works when you explode them. If you place it on the southeast side, 
you do this nothing happens right but if we place it on this side and do it it then works oh no it's kind of weird so that's why i have them all placed on the southwest side <laughs> just to make sure when i right click on these guys it always explodes the heart and they are ready for the cores oops cue that right there all right so right click all of these guys get them re prepared to accept oh come on click it get them prepared to accept the cores there we go. All right, so 16 for you. 16 for you. Uh, a 16 for you, and then another 16 for you. Cool. Well, let me finish this up. We'll get the rest of the Awakened Draconium set up, and then we'll look at making our Draconic Armor. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I drew out the different pieces of armor here. So here is our Draconic Helmet. Yeah, that requires 15 of this Awakened stuff, and then however many of these Neutron, two of these Awakened cores, the Draconic Core, and our Wyvern Helmet. Wyvern Helmet, sorry, Wyvern. Uh, so there's our Draconic Helmet. Got that one made. Uh, actually, before I continue making these things, which one was it? The section for this, is it this one? This wants us, yeah, crafting task. Well, it says that's incomplete, even though I just did that. Let me go back in here real quick. I don't understand why this is not working. This does not recognize. It didn't recognize the staff of power, which I had to manually do. It looks like I'll have to manually do this one as well. That's too bad. Okay, well, anyway, uh, let's continue on here. So the draconic chest plate. Yeah, that's a lot of these neutron neutronium ingots. Two more of the Awakened Cores, one of the Draconic Cores, uh, Wyvern, a chest plate, and then all of these Awakened, however many that is. Yeah, so, so far we've used uh, about three quarters of a stack of Awakened Draconium ingots to make these two pieces of armor. We still have two more to go. Let me draw out these pieces of armor, and we'll be right back. And here we go for the uh, final two pieces. We have the leggings here. Yeah, so... It's a lot of the draconic draconium stuff, the awakened draconium that goes into all of this. But there we go. There's the leggings, and finally here are the boots. So all in all, I used almost a full stack of the neutronium ingots and just about two stacks of the awakened draconium. So yes, it's a lot of stuff that goes into all of these different crafting. Now, the awakened draconium we have left is two blocks. Well, I guess three blocks plus one ingot, and then I just got done making forty. Of these awakened cores because i assume that's what we want to do if i think it's 10 per um yeah i think it's 10 per piece to upgrade this stuff so we want to upgrade like the rf capacity shield capacity and the shield recovery probably want like i don't know four in those four in this i honestly don't know how many you can put into all these we'll do four four and two so it gets a little bit more power and then well maybe that's not even necessary maybe we should just do five and five Let's just see, how many can we put into all of this? Wow, okay, so we can do up to 30 in here. Wow, that's that's a little crazy. I don't think we want to do that just yet. <laughs> Let's just do something a little bit easier on the budget here. Let's do five and five for each piece, right? We'll probably want to upgrade this further a little bit later. Uh, actually, you know, yeah, five and five, that seems fine. Do this, five and five. Mm-hmm. That shield recovery speed, that is a thing that's going to be very important. Or I guess the shield recovery and the shield capacity is going to be very important for when we fight the Chaos Guardian, which we're going to want to do here pretty soon. Probably not today, but sometime relatively soon. So, yes, with all those Awakened cores we just put in there, like I said, we're almost out of the Awakened stuff. Even though we just made, like, 40 blocks of it, almost gone. We really need to get this stuff going a little bit more so we can beef up our armor all the way. But for right now, I think that's going to be just fine. Uh, so now we can take the armor. Let's go charge it up over here. Oops. Uh, this, 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 and this. Cool. All right. So all that's now charged. I have this thing turned off. Let's turn this back on. Charge armor and hot bar. And we can take this armor off and put this armor on. Okay, so that's that's all right. We do want to get night vision on. So which button do I have mapped to the draconic armor? Let's take a look real quick. We have it mapped to C, but I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, it does work. It does work. Okay, so we want our helmet. We want night vision on, and we want lock on. So it never like turns on and off depending on where we are. We always want that on. 
we go back so the chest plate vertical acceleration you can make this go really crazy i think 300 percent is where i normally keep that uh flight speed modifier this is how fast you can go we can go 600 which will make us go like pretty quick actually that's not as fast as i thought it was gonna go i think you go faster in 1.10 <laughs> that's still pretty good maybe 600 is where i want that uh let's go back here Lock flight off, inertia cancellation on, that way you stop on a dime, effective while sprinting on. Okay, so that that way we can go like a normal speed or we can sprint to go faster. I think that's what I want to do. And then we just stop on a dime. The inertia canceling is great. Okay, uh, leggings, this is our movement speed modifier. Probably want that up probably eh, about 300, I think. I think that's going to be good. Reduce when walking on. So that way we're not always moving super fast. We can walk normal. Or we can sprint to go a lot faster, right? I think that just makes sense. Finally, our boots. We want hill step on, reduce while walking off, jump height. I never like the jump height modifier, but you can boost that up like pretty good, right? That's a that's a pretty nice bounce. I don't like that. If you're trying to jump up a block or whatever, that's just annoying. I'd rather just be able to fly if I'm gonna try and go up or whatever. So we'll turn this all the way off. There we go. Okay, so all this armor is pretty good. We can move around quite quickly. We have creative flight. The only thing we don't have is a way to auto eat. Yeah, we don't have any saturation. So we will have to start doing epic bacon, but we don't have to, but that's what I'm going to do. We'll tell the system, let's make a hundred of those. We should have everything ready to go. And I'll take a stack with me. Now the epic bacon pretty much fills up your hunger all the way and your saturation all the way. So you don't have to eat it super often, <laughs> but yeah, it is quite nice for that okay cool uh so draconic armor the next things that i'd like to do with this stuff is i want to soul bind it we have four soul bound books remaining because i pre-crafted those up a while ago when i was soul binding other things so we can go to the inventory and throw that on there if we were to die and we don't have soul bind on there our armor would go into our gravestone or whatever yeah and then we won't be able to fly that's not going to be good. So we definitely want soul bind on our armor on all these pieces. We can also put, I think, protection on there and, you know, other things we might want. If we're working underwater, aqua affinity or whatever. Uh, I think just as it is, is pretty good. But we could, like I said, put protection on there for a little bit of damage reduction further yet and things of that nature. But I'm pretty happy with pretty happy with the armor like this, just as it is <laughs> the full draconic stuff. I'm kind of glad that this pack doesn't have the crazy texture. I think infinity evolved had like the other texture for the draconic armor. It looks really weird. And I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's really awesome. Getting this done is a huge step. So I'll go ahead and give myself op status. I'll complete this quest. You have to be an op or an admin, I guess, uh, to mark these quests as complete. We'll do that. We'll claim, I'll claim this right now. Yeah, we'll claim the reward for this, and then we will move on. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I completed that quest like I said I was going to. So under the Lambda section, we can, cr or I'm sorry, we can claim the reward for our dragon armor. Uh, we'll take that one here. Cool. And then I think Kappa, yes, our energy condensers. We never claimed the reward for those, so we'll take a loot chest for this one and a loot chest for that one. Uh-huh. All right, so let's pop these open. Getting about this point into the pack, we should expect to see something better. That's an alpha reward. That's something different. Death seal, seal intact, gives resurrection. That's cool. I don't think we really need that, though. And besides, I believe those create little entities that, like, bump into you and get into your way. Not a huge fan. The VCO chest plate, that's not bad. Forbidden reward. Uh, artifact uh item that is water breathing provides illumination converts to di converts to emeralds let's convert emeralds yay emeralds so we got 25 emeralds out of that and then finally we get a tier three chance pendant okay so all of this stuff i'm just gonna throw in the system yeah we don't really need any of that stuff right now okay so moving on lambda yeah so we have the chaos guardian the chaos core that it wants us to do so um, let's scroll all the way down here again, this section. Okay, so I did complete the quest for the Neutron Collection by making 
the Neutron Collectors, right? So let's claim that reward. As I was moving things around in the last millennium, I ended up you know, completing these quests just by having these on me. So we'll complete this one. Uh, putting those into the drawer, which I moved, completed this quest as well since it made nuggets for me. <laughs> so I'll claim that one. Finally, it wants us to craft a Neutronium Ingot. Well, we already have a bunch of those crafted and they're being crafted automatically. I don't remember. I don't know if you can uncraft those. Can you take them down? Oh, you can't. Okay, so we can deconvert them or uncraft and then craft it back and that should work. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, so loot chest for that one as well. Awesome. All right, so let's go and open these. So we get some plastic sheets, salt ore, typesetting table, printing press, and finally some agricraft stuff. All of those are very common. We've seen those many, many times before. Okay, so back to this moo section, or however you pronounce it. I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced. We have two options. We're going to start doing the cosmic meatballs, which is kind of crazy. That's going to take a little bit of setup. Or we can start working towards a neutron compressor. This is something that's important. We're going to need a lot of these machines. Pretty much every single one of those different types of singularities we need a neutronium compressor for. Uh, so let's take a look at one of these things. The neutronium compressor. Okay, so in order to make one of these, we need more crystal matrix ingots, which is a bunch of diamonds and some nether stars, I think. Compressed dark iron. Again, these are things that we went into the last recipe. We need flex crystal blocks. We've seen those before. We need neutronium tough rod. What's a recipe for that? Is there a recipe for that? I don't know. Do you just craft that directly on the tinker's table? That might be how you craft that. We need a bunch of impulse hoppers. Looks like seven of those. An impulse hopper is made from an empty machine framework. Some hoppers, impulse hopper, framework controller. This does not have EMC, but the empty machine framework does. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Electrical steel and dark steel. We have all of those resources available. Impulse hopper framework controller requires a Franken zombie, which we have an auto craft. Is there, okay, Z logic, perfect. The Z logic controllers is going to save us on the zombie heads, which we don't have a heck of a lot of. So we can make one of those, make them make a bunch of Z logic. Let's do that right now. Z logic, let's craft one up. Let's just make a bunch of them just so we never have to worry about that again. Okay, so that and star, probably half a stack of stars is going to be way more than we'll ever need of these things. Well, let's just go ahead and do that anyway. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, so Z logic controllers we have under control. We don't have to worry about those <laughs> for any time soon. Okay, so back to this thing, back to impulse hopper framework. So yeah, Franken zombie is with a zombie made with those. I should tell the system probably to make like a hundred. No, probably not that much. Maybe, maybe forty. Now it says that we need zombie heads to make these. I thought we just told it how to make the Z logic controller. We have a bunch of Z logic controllers. Okay. I'm confused. Why does it need zombie heads for this recipe? Right? That is a Z logic controller plus a soul vial with a zombie and it makes this. So why did it say that we need the zombie heads? We have 76 in the system. I'm going to take those all out and try that recipe again. Franken zombie. 40. Yeah, it says that it can do it now. It doesn't need the zombie heads. That's weird that it said that before. Anyway, let's start crafting those up now. Now that's not going to eat up all of our zombie heads. Okay, so we got that going. That'll take a little bit of time for that to happen. Uh, so then we need machine chassis. And those look like those are EMCable as well. So again, these are things we should probably... Since those take a lot of time to craft up, especially since they do require these crystallized redstone, anything we can do to avoid making those, those take about like 30 to 45 seconds to craft each one. Yeah, I'm not interested in having that done. Uh, so uh, star, let's make, how much is the EMC 11? Let's do like three stacks of stars, I guess. We'll probably be more than what we'll ever need for these, but I'd rather have, you know, a few and never have to worry about it than having to worry about it all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's way more than what we need right now. And then I'll shift Q those onto the ground here and then put them all into the ME system. Cool. All right. So we never have to worry about those again. Uh, what else? 
Electrical stuff. We should probably set up this recipe. Let's go and do that now. So that's the impulse hopper framework controller. All right, so we're waiting on the Franken zombies for however many of those that we need. Uh, so then we could do the impulse hopper, probably empty machine frame. That's fine. We'll just tell the system to craft that up. We could do EMC for that, but honestly, we have all those resources. Hoppers, um, you know what? We can craft all of those as well. I think what we have to do is just wait on those Franken zombies right now. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to put that here and here. I guess we should look. How are we doing on the Franken zombie situation? We have 15 of those. So right now, we could tell the system to make 15 of these, which would give us recipes for two of these whole things. Hmm. Okay, well, let's figure out the Neutronium Tough Rod. So we have that. We need, I assume, a part builder. Uh, we're probably going to want the pattern chest, which contains our Tough Rod thing. I don't think we melt this stuff in the smeltery. I think we just do it right like this. Okay, so we need the Tough Rod, wherever that is. Tough Rod right here, plus this. Yeah, okay, so that's exactly what we do. So each one of those requires three of our neutronium ingots, and then we're going to need a block of this stuff. So that is 15 ingots per one of these recipes, per one of these compressors. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to go into all this. Let me see if I can get one of these recipes set up, and then we'll be right back. Oh, you know what? Hold on. No, 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 no. No, I said 15. Absolutely incorrect. Eight more per large plate. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 times eight neutronium ingots to make one of these compressors. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a over a hundred. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to math it right now. It's well over a hundred ingots to do all this. I'll go check and see how much we have <laughs> in the last millennium. Hopefully we have enough to even make one craft of this. Let me go get some stuff set up and we'll be right back guys. Oh boy. All right. So here is everything that we need to make one neutronium compressor. Yeah. So these plates, these took a large chunk of all of the neutronium that we had. We have two ingots left. That's it. <laughs> We're down to two ingots out of all of the neutronium that we had. But then again, we crafted up all the draconic armor and we made 14 of these plates, right? The, uh, the large plates. We have a block here and two neutronium tough rods. So, I mean, luckily we had enough for all of this stuff, but my goodness, can you imagine trying to wait however long that would take with just one of those things? And if you weren't on a server, the uh, neutron collectors, yeah, <laughs> it's never going to happen. So anyway, here is one neutronium compressor. I will craft that up and there is a quest complete. Awesome. So we'll claim our loot chest for this. That is going to open up the ability for us to start crafting these singularities. So yeah, all these different singularities are things that we're going to have to make, but we're going to set it up to be automated because I don't want to have to craft one of these and then be like, okay, now I need to craft another one. Let's switch it over, whatever. So we're going to have to start collecting all the resources for all these things. And as we progress, we will add an additional neutronium compressor for each one of these different materials and another one of these uh, energy condensers, MK2, that's making the blocks or whatever else for that specific item. Yeah, that's definitely what we need to do. Okay, so I will pop this loot chest and we get a core sample drill that's from Immersive Engineering. Uh, it's not a thing that we are gonna be using, I don't think. Go ahead and put all these things away. Yeah, so pretty much we are waiting right now for more neutronium stuff. <laughs> we should have enough for next time to make a few more of those compressors, but yeah. That, I mean, that that's all it is. It's a waiting game. We can't make that stuff any faster. The only thing we could do is make more of those neutron collectors. Uh, we could start looking at getting the wand of animation. That's another thing that we need to do. But in order to do that, we have to go back to the Urbis and get more of the crystals from the antlion boss. I believe the wand of animation does take two of them. So we have to find at least two more of those antlion boss temples. What fun. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.